Here's a quick demonstration of my script, which lets you mark different objects in EasyCAD by pressing different keys on the keyboard. Here I've got three separate objects. You can see them here in the object list. I'll center them all just for the purposes of demonstration. Now I go and open up my script. It's this one here called Key Press Mark Object. And this little window pops up. This script intercepts the keys 1, 2, and 3. And depending on which one's pressed, it will go and click on the corresponding object in the list in EasyCAD and then click on the mark button. This is done in a scripting language called AutoWit which lets you simulate things like key presses, mouse presses. It's very powerful. So I'm going to press the one key off screen here and take a look at what happens to the object list. You'll see it select the first item and then mark it. So I'm going to press the one key just now. Now I'm going to press the two key. You can see it selected the second item. I'm now going to press three and you can see it selected the third item. This works even if the uh, even if this window isn't um, uh, active, isn't uh, on, on top. So if I minimize this for example uh, just go back to the main EasyCAD window. If I press 1, it'll work. Press 2, press 3. So you don't need to have the, the window actually on top. So let's go over to the laser and actually demonstrate it. Now this little keypad here is the one I've got programmed for controlling the laser. That's escape, F1, and F2, that's the three I normally use for marking. But I've programmed the middle three buttons, the, the ones highlighted in blue, to produce keystrokes one, two, and three when they're pressed. Uh, ignore the fact that the buttons actually say four, five, and six, they're, the keycaps are all rearranged. So let's stick a piece of card in, get that into frame. So when I press this button, that will mark. One, move it along, when I press this button, marks two, and when I press the last one, marks three. Two, one, three, and so forth. So, very useful. If you want to stop the program, open the window up and exit. Now it's very easy to edit the script. If you go right click edit, uh, you'll see all this stuff. Uh, the important bits that you want are here. Now you can actually map as many hotkeys as you want, uh, that's 1, 2 and 3, so you would uh, change things there and then scroll down a little and also change them here. Uh, mark object is, the, is my function that actually goes and clicks on the, the object in EasyCAD and marks it, so you're simply detecting which hotkey was pressed and then marking a corresponding object. Uh, you'll get the hang of it, it's quite logical. So, hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching.